Hey everyone, so today I have a new video for you all. Um, just wanted to update you all on my hair. I made 17 months, yay, but I'm so um, excited. I want to talk about uh, something that I recently added to my regimen and is a staple in my regimen actually. Um, just a little background That's what my about my hair. It's breaking a lot due to several reasons. Um, due to a product that I was using and um, and most importantly my hair was very dry and brittle and um, so it made it really hard to to manage. I, I stopped okay. using the product by the way if you're if you are interested in knowing it was just the I stopped using that but um I started researching on how to improve dry natural hair and you know what can I do to improve that and I came across something called low porosity hair and you probably heard of it I've recently heard of it I heard of it but I never did any research on it um, low porosity hair is basically hair that tends to get really dry brittle and um, a lot of water based product or water just tends to just repel from the hair so it doesn't really penetrate the hair to keep it moisturized that was happening to me so um, I have to take action I wanted to know okay so what can I what product can help me out now keep in mind I've tried shea butter I've tried oils I've tried leave-in conditioners I've tried a lot of things, you know, I tried this leave-in conditioner, the Kinky Not Today leave-in conditioner, and all of those things just temporarily work, and it just didn't do it for my hair. So, <clears throat> I saw upon something called um, vegetable glycerin. Now, ve so, what vegetable glycerin is, it's, it's, um, it's derived from coconut oil, palm oil, I'm not exactly sure <clears throat> how they manufacture this product, but I know that it turns out to be a very sticky consistency, and it's clear, that's how it looks, and um, it's pretty cool, actually. So I wanted to do more research on it, and basically it's, it's, it is a humectant, actually, actually humectant. something that preserves moisture, and um, to keep in mind, uh, they use glycerin a lot in the cosmetic industry, like in lotions and all of those great moisturizers and hair Today products. I'm just here to just show you how to just make it, how I make my this with bottle, and I'm just going to just add on to it. Now, the vegetable glycerin is very cool because it's water soluble, so it dissolves pretty well into the water with no problems, opposed to using oils in your hair. Oils is hydrophobic, it's afraid of water, so they just don't dissolve with each other. They don't like each other. So, how so, I make my stick I'm going to open it. <clears throat> that out. There. I'm just gonna oh. pour that in there. Proof from product that I was using. This is going to gross you out, but I have to show you, show it to you because I'm very honest when it comes to my hair. Um, this was just a little bit of my hair, like one section of my hair, detangling, finger detangling at that. That's how much hair fell out. It was ridiculous. And um, I will be throwing that out, by the way. I won't be keeping that. I want to um, update you all. Yes, yeah, so if you have dry hair, and you need something to help it out. Please go out and buy vegetable glycerin and try that out. I use it several ways too. I also sometimes put the oil in my hand and then I just pour it out the bottle, the vegetable glycerin as well, and then um, 
I mix it and I get those ends. Make sure you always get your ends because that's the most important thing in order to retain length. Now, I know my hair should have been a little bit longer than this, but hey, my hair was really breaking last month. And um, yeah, so I'm 17 months. Next month, I'll be doing a lens check. And um, thank you for all the new subscribers and thank you for watching my video and being interested. And, um, and thank you for all the amazing comments. You guys are great. And have a good one. Bye.